this day has come. We're solving the first differential equation as child. Fuck. We're supposed to find the y such that y to the power of is derivative with respect to x is equal to e to the power of x. So how do we do it? First of all, I'd like to take the natural log of both sides of this equation in order to, you know, get the sense of what the hell's going on with this poor <laughs> differential there. So the natural log of y to the dy over dx and the natural log of e to the x is just plain old x. But I can just now use the well, laws governing logarithms to bring this differential in front of this logarithm. I had, I had no idea I would ever say this phrase in my life, yeah? So I'm gonna get dy divided by dx times the natural log of y being equal to just the x and now you know i could say stuff like we have to make those two variables function of some parameter t and then we have to use a chain rule or stuff but you know what calc professors fuck you and i'm just gonna multiply everything by the dx and i'm gonna even fucking write it down here yeah times dx what now what now i'm just gonna write this thing as i'm gonna write this thing as if i finally managed to change the color as natural log of y dy equal to x dx what can you do about it nothing now i can just multiply oh now i can just integrate both sides with respect to the differential that is right there which is natural log of y times dy equal to the well, integral of x times dx and what i get then is just the well y times the natural log of y and then minus y is equal to just x squared plus some constant that's gonna be all by two. Well, I just suck this constant in, you know, to the fraction with the x, and I also kind of just, you know, made the constant from the left hand side go to the right hand side, and I just, you know, made those two constants be a single constant. I don't really care about it, honestly. It doesn't really change a thing, yeah. But well, now I could just, you know, get the x explicitly in terms of y. Hmm. And finish the problem. Well. Not really, because I wouldn't be a real man if I did it. I'm supposed to find y in terms of x, so, well, I will have to put in a little bit more work to do it. So, how do I do it? I can rewrite the left-hand side, I can write the left-hand side as the natural log of y to the power of y, and then minus the natural log of e to the power of y, and that's going to be all equal to just the x squared plus c all over 2. What I did to the left-hand side doesn't change a thing, but now I can just... We write it as natural log of, and it's going to be y divided by e and all to the power of y is equal to x squared and then plus c and then all by, and then all by my 2. Awesome. But now I can just kind of go on and take this y in front of the natural log and then divide both sides by it. I'm going to just get the natural log of y divided by e is equal to x squared plus c all over double y. I've already divided everything through by that y. And so what I get now is I can you know, kind of exponentiate both sides of this equation and get just y divided by e equal to e to the power of x squared plus c all divided by double my y. But now I'm not very close to the close formula for y, honestly. I mean, I've got, you know, y in the exponent here divided by e. What the hell's going on there? And, well, <laughs> how am I supposed to get the close formula for y? And there is a single function that will help us there, like, tremendously. And it's called the Lambert W function. The Lambert W function, which is denoted as the capital W of x, is defined as the inverse function of the function f of x, which is x multiplied by e to the power of x. So what it really means is that the w function, so the lambda w of x times e to the power of x is the same as just x. This is the single most important um, property of this lambda w function there is. I'm gonna use it right now because what I can do is just say, well, you know, bro, this thing here is gonna be my x and I'm gonna use the lambda w function on the entire equation. But the problem is that, yeah, I'm exponentiating with this thing but I'm not quite multiplying with it. I mean, I'm multiplying this e by a 1 here, and 1 is not necessarily equal to x squared plus c over double dy, yeah? So what do I do here in order to, well, be able to use my lambda w function? 
Well, I have to multiply both sides through my what I'm exponentiating e to the power of on the right hand side. So I will just have to multiply everything through by x squared plus c divided by double dy on the left hand side. Well, actually, those y's are gonna cancel each other nicely. I love it, honestly. And on the right hand side, I'm gonna get x squared plus c divided by double y multiplied by e to the power of x squared plus c all over double dy. And now just take the Lambert of both sides. I'm gonna maybe write it as such. So Lambert of, of this thing and then Lambert of this thing is going to give me what? It's gonna give me, here it's gonna be just well, the Lambert W function of x squared plus c all over double e. I can't really do anything about it honestly but on the right hand side i'm gonna get x squared plus c divided by double dy which is absolutely perfect and so what i get from that is well pretty it's pretty easy of a weight for of a way for um, getting the close formula for y which is just w of x squared plus c by double e all times two and all divided by x squared plus c and this is my closed form for the y <sighs> that's the end of the question or the problem rather or the solution sure anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it and see you in the next one Bye.